Spoke to Stephanie Moniz in a story you'll see only on 7. I'm in shock still. I'm still trying to process everything. Um, I just, he took, he took my daughter's dad away away like what am I supposed to tell her Earl Romo's family grappling with the news that he's gone after a fight inside a strip club turned deadly according to police it happened at knockout gentlemen's club early Tuesday morning the accused shooter a 16 year old teen the bar is just as responsible as this kid somebody in that establishment let this kid in his family now looking for answers on how this happened it's always the same thing. There's always something going on, whether it's a security guards beating up somebody or now. Now it came to my brother in law, which uh, he's gone. He died in the, in the front of the door like a, a dog. Romo's sister says her brother has a history. He had a very troubled life and he didn't get it easy. He, had, uh, he has a past and he lived through that past and he worked through it. She says he became a barber, was part of a motorcycle club, and provided for his family. These are two random strangers in a club with a kid with a gun that had no business in there. And I want it clear that that's not why he died. He didn't die because he was in a motorcycle club. He died because a kid made a choice and a club allowed him to be in there with a gun. Now they are trying to move forward, but still seeking accountability. My life's work right now is focused on getting this club shut down because it's a nuisance and it's just dirty and it's wrong and there's too much going on there. The 16 year old suspect is in custody and the DA says they will charge him as an adult. At APD headquarters, Stephanie Muniz, KYT Action 7 News.